So it's great when we get excited about an opportunity and put ourselves out there to pursue it and even are very vocal, vocal about what they want to achieve. Um, but it makes you a little vulnerable because, in fact, you may not get it. And like so many things in life, how you respond to that unfavorable outcome is probably more significant than if you had gotten that opportunity uh, as you intended or as you wished. And so, again, I think it's uh, an opportunity to make sure that you have control of your emotions, that you've allowed yourself the time in private to deal with the anger, disappointment, sadness, whatever all those emotions are, and then decide how you're going to handle that professionally. And the response you, you show to others, I think, will be a great reflection of your true self. And hopefully that is graciousness, professionalism, resilience. Um, sometimes I, whether it's right or wrong, convince myself that things happen for a reason which makes those disappointments easier to deal with. And in fact, if I look back over the times in my career when I have been disappointed, three months later, or six months later, or a year later, something great came along that showed me things really did happen for a reason, and that wasn't the right path for me. And I was so happy that I didn't throw a temper tantrum, I didn't get emotional and um, alienate people around me, um, and, you know, good things come from that. So it all goes back to being someone that people uh, can feel comfortable, can handle the good news graciously, and can handle the bad news graciously.